Hello and welcome. Uh, we're coming to you live from Singapore, uh, the digital media zone uh, Innovate for Climate. This week, global leaders from the finance, market, and technology sectors are meeting to discuss the future of climate finance and, and share um, solutions for climate change. Please follow the conversation using the hashtag Innovate for Climate. And I'm Isabel Saldarriaga, I'm Communications Officer for the World Bank, and I'm here with Angel Shu, Assistant Professor at Yale NUS College and adjunct of the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies. Welcome, Angel. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. She's just stepping down from um, the keynote panel uh, at the I4C Summit, so thank you very much. Um, so first, we want to get sort of like a general picture of the big trends of climate investment um, and also we're all about solutions mm -hmm. here. So also, right. why are you optimistic about this um, um, trends? So I'm really encouraged by the groundswell of cities, states and regions, companies, individual actors that are stepping up to the plate and, to, and making their own solutions on climate change. So we know if we look at the scientific research, governments on the national scale are not coming anywhere close to where we need to go in order to avoid the most dangerous effects of climate change. In order for us to maintain global temperature rise within two degrees or well below that to 1.5 degrees Celsius, governments are simply failing. If we keep along that trajectory, then we're gonna look at about a three and a half to four degree warming world by 2100. And so we need everybody to step up to the plate and come up with their own innovations and their own solutions for climate change. And so that's why I'm really positive and encouraged by the fact that you have companies like IKEA and Apple and Microsoft that are committing to go 100% renewable electricity by cities like Los Angeles that are trying to shift their vehicle fleet to more electric vehicles. And governor of Washington State, Inslee, for example, he's committed the state to go 100% clean electricity by 2045. He wants to double the number of electric vehicles on the road by next year. And so I think we need to have more and more of these players stepping up and taking on their own actions on climate change. And so this idea and this trend of the Green New Deal, I think is really reinvigorating a lot of excitement and action and framing taking action on climate change in a more positive light and viewing it more as an opportunity to bring together business, financing, technology, and individuals together in order to tackle climate change. So that's the big trend that I'm most excited about and I think holds a lot of potential. Great, yeah. Um, we also have seen like a lot more momentum, I mm -hmm. guess, for, for climate change. It seems to be everywhere, it seems to be in the news. Uh, and now we're seeing the youth also taking a more active voice. Um, you're a professor, you're like in touch with, with a younger audience. Um, what is your message to those striking, to those maybe considering striking, um, and not just in the US, but uh, around the world? Well, I would say don't give up. And it's been so inspiring. I'm personally inspired by the youth who are taking climate change and climate action into their own hands and demanding that the adults in the room and also governments take action because we can't and they can't do it alone. And so my message to young people is that you gotta keep pressing, you gotta keep going and never giving up hope and to also within their own lives think about how we as individuals can also address climate change. And so I actually teach a class on climate science and policy and we talk about solutions on the last day of class. So very simple things that people can do. For example, think about how you get to work every single day. Are you taking public transit or are you opting for car ownership? I haven't owned a car my entire adult life, for example, and I think living in a place like Singapore makes it very easy. Uh, also, think about what choices you make in terms of food and travel. So if everybody in the world just takes one less transatlantic or transpacific flight a year, for example, that can really make a huge difference. And so I think, number one, don't stop. And mm -hmm. then number two, also think individually. So not just pressuring others to take action, but what you yourself can do to affect climate change. Great. Thank you so much. And thank you for participating at I4C. Thank you so much for having me. Um, don't forget to follow the conversation, hashtag InnovateForClimate. We have a lot more coming up today, so stay tuned. Thank you.